Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I want to share with you a way, a technique on how to make the main subject of your drawings stand out from the rest. And we will do this as an example by drawing an eagle. To begin, we will use graphite powder in the chamois. I dip the chamois into the graphite and then first I test it on a scrap piece of paper so as to not ruin my good one and then let's apply it with horizontal motions. The reason they are horizontal is because it will be AC and therefore any pattern left in this direction can look like waves. Very good. Now I will cover or mask the upper part which will be the sky and I further darken just a little the lower part. Once I lift the paper we have the sea and the sky into different tones. And now I use a blending stump and some graphite powder to draw a sailing boat far away. As I told you in the intro we want to make our main subject stand out. We will do this in two ways. The first one is by contrast of tones or values. In something that is close by, we can see that the black is black and the whites are white, while things far away become less intense. The blacks are not any more real blacks and neither are the whites. Everything appears on a gray value scale. And the second effect that we will use is that things far away look slightly blurry at the edges. They have soft edges. Also because we look at them through the atmosphere. And that is why I drew this ship with the blending stump, which leaves soft edges. In contrast, I'm drawing a close by eagle with a mechanical pencil. The idea, as you can guess, is to draw it with sharp edges and making the blacks black and the whites white. With all of this, it should stand out from the rest. We drew the upper part of the wings, the head and the legs as a sketch and now we fill in more detail. By the way, it is very important when drawing with this technique of the graphite powder that you do not touch the paper with your hand or your fingers before or after you apply it, because it would ruin it. As you saw, I pulled some whites by erasing the areas and now to deliver the blacks, I want to use the softer and darker graphite there is, which is a 9B LED. I have this on a lead holder. The whole list of materials is in the description below the video. And I recommend fixing the drawing with a spray fixative as soon as you finish it. So that it doesn't smear if you place another paper on top of it or something like that. I hate it when that happens. And I'm back to the mechanical pencil to work on the fine detail. It is very important that you consider doing this type of things to make your subject stand out in your drawing. That will communicate a lot better the idea of space and distance and will make your drawings more powerful. I keep working the details with the mechanical pencil and with the eraser. Since we originally gave a grey tone to the whole paper with the graphite powder, for the areas that I need white, I simply erase it, exposing the paper. Very good! Excelente! It's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.